Welcome to Bible Study for June 24th, 2020. Uh, we're going to have some of the similar passages from last week. I had hoped to be able to get through the whole story of Abraham and Sarah and Isaac, as well as uh, Hagar and Ishmael last week, uh, but I ended up focusing in just on Sarah, uh, and uh, this week will be on Abraham and Hagar and Ishmael. So I'm going to begin with a new psalm for this week, Psalm 13, and then I'm going to read portions of our Genesis passages from last week as well. Let's listen for God's word again, speaking to us, this time through Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. May God add wisdom to this reading from the word. And then from uh, the book of Genesis, chapter 16, reading verses 7 uh, to 18, I believe. Let's listen again for God's word. The angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, the spring on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, slave girl of Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? She said, I'm running away from my mistress, Sarai. The angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit to her. The angel of the Lord also said to her, I will so greatly multiply your offspring that they cannot be counted for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Now you have conceived and shall bear a son, and you shall call him Ishmael, for the Lord has given heed to your affliction. He shall be a wild ass of a man, with his hand against everyone, and everyone's hand against him. And he shall live at odds with all his kin. So she named the Lord who had spoken with her. You are Elroy, she said. I have really seen God and remained alive after seeing him. Therefore the well shall be called Bir Lahai Roy. It lies between Kadesh and Bered. Hagar bore Abraham a son. And Abraham named his son, whom Hagar bore, Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. And then again, reading from Genesis chapter 21, this is happening about 13 years later, uh, or 16 years later, it could be, uh, Genesis 21, 15 to 21. When the water in the skin was gone, she cast the child under the bushes. Then she went and sat down opposite him a good way off, about the distance of a bow shot. For she said, do not let me look on the death of the child. And she sat opposite him, she lifted up her voice and wept, and God heard the voice of the boy, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Do not be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Come, lift up the boy and hold him fast with your hand, for I will make a great nation of him. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. God was with the boy, and he grew up. He lived in the wilderness and became an expert with the bow. He lived in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother got him a wife from the land of Egypt. May God add wisdom to this reading from the word as well. In our Bible study group this morning, as we were reading through Psalm 13, it had echoes of our COVID-19 time in it. There was a feeling of that, that refrain of how long, oh God, how long? Um, and that, that feeling of abandonment that some people have been feeling through this COVID time, the, the feeling certainly of being alone and being separated from others. Um, and yet at the end of the psalm, there's a turnaround, and it turns around to the psalmist expressing faith in God and love for God and trust in God. And I thought that kind of tied in nicely with our Genesis passages. Um, the first one I read was from when, uh, when Hagar first discovered that she was pregnant with Ishmael, and Sarah sent her away and said, I want her out of the house. Um, and God appeared to her, an angel of the Lord appeared. And then Hagar interprets that as it being the Lord himself appeared, um, which I think is an accurate understanding of what went on. 
um, and that God cared for her. And God said, I'm giving a promise to you and your child as well. Again, jump ahead 13 years, 16 years later, uh, and we've got the, the scene where uh, Abraham and Sarah, Sarah in particular, had pushed uh, Hagar out of the house with Ishmael and sent them on their way. And Abraham had given Hagar some bread and some water to get by, uh, but it hadn't been enough. Um, and she wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And then again, God appeared to her and said, you're going to be okay. You know, I'm going to look after you. I've heard the call of the child, but he came to Hagar to talk to her about what was going on. And uh, there is some trouble in our minds as we hear this because um, it seems like it's talking about a young child. It seems like the passage is about a, um, a baby or perhaps a toddler at the most. Uh, but with the understanding that Ishmael was born uh, when Abraham was 86, it means that, that Ishmael at this point would be 16 or even 17 years old. Um, so it's hard to imagine a 16 or 17 year old be putting under a bush um, and left there under the bush. So uh, we've got some things to try and deal with. So this week I'm going to be looking at uh, this somewhat from the perspective of Abraham and what it might have been like for him uh, making these decisions and also especially from Hagar um, and bringing in a little bit about uh, what we hear um, through the Quranic tradition from the Muslim tradition as well about their understanding of Ishmael uh, and Hagar. So uh, we'll see where we go on Sunday morning. May God bless you and keep you, and uh, may you continue to ponder these words, the words of Scripture, as we move towards Sunday. Go now in peace.